Jasmine Fenletta Victorian and debutant Benjamin Alexander were Jamaica's flag bearers as the 24th edition of the Winter Olympics is officially underway in Beijing, China. It got underway this morning. Jeremy Brown reports. Jamaica's six-member team was among the 91 nations who were represented at a colorful opening ceremony on Friday for the 24th edition of the Winter Olympics inside the famed Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing, China. Jasmine Fenletta Victorian and debutant Benjamin Alexander were Jamaica's flag bearers at the opening ceremony for the Games where almost 3,000 athletes will compete. Fenletta Victorian will compete in the women's monobob, while Alexander will be the country's lone representative in alpine skiing. Jamaica will also compete in the two-man and four-man sled events. President of the Jamaica Bobsleigh and Skeleton Federation, Chris Stokes, says the opening ceremony was a timely reminder of the conditions that the team from the tropics will face in China. It's cold. It's very cold. The, the, the guys got a good, really good break for the opening ceremony. It's, it's still shocking to me after all this time that our, our popularity, the, the, the shine on our brand keeps increasing. And I think it's a, a testimony to Jamaica, to our athletes and to the work that has gone into the, to the program. Fenletta Victorian will be the first Jamaican in action when she competes in the heats of the Mona Bob on February 13. We shift highly into into, into high business gear tomorrow. Uh, our first week of training will focus on, on Jasmine and getting her ready for the, the, the Mona Bob. That's an important thing for us. And of course, our two men as well. That's, where we'll start out, that's what we'll start out with. Work time now, as you know, I've heard Shabarang say once, you know, work time now and we're getting into to that mode and focus and putting aside a lot of the, the, the press and the, the preliminary preparatory work that we have been doing. So. Yeah, time to get into the zone. Meanwhile, Chinese President Xi Jinping declared the Beijing Winter Games open as China tried to turn the page on a buildup overshadowed by human rights concerns, the COVID-19 pandemic, and a U.S.-led diplomatic boycott. Fireworks exploded over the bird's nest as the lattice-shaped stadium took center stage just as it did at the 2008 Games as Beijing became the first city to host both a Summer and Winter Olympics. The International Olympic Committee, IOC, has been criticized for awarding the Games to China because of the country's alleged human rights abuses. Just as in Tokyo six months ago, there were no paying spectators, friends or family present in the stands, although there were diplomatic and team members applauding the athletes on. Jeremy Brown reporting for TVJ Sports.